This is where it all began for current National Sevens captain Paula Dranisi Nikola, which was once a plain field in his village in Avunivi Ra. With the dream of representing Fiji the aim for many boys in the village, a particular match played in Avunievi back in the 90s was the motivating factor for Paul Andrani Sinikola. I remember that, yeah, Tomas Idamothi was here, Serevi, and some of the uh, big names was here. And uh, they were playing against the team from the village, this village. And that was, was a motivator for me. And uh, I told myself, yes, one day I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do the World Cup and I'll represent Fiji and uh, make my, my nation and also the Vanua proud. He only started taking rugby seriously in class eight when he played for the Ra rugby team. Paula, who also attended Ratu Kandavulevu school, was part of the under-19 Dean squad in 2008 that lost to Lilin Memorial School in the final. His parents were always against him playing rugby as they were worried that their son would get injured. However, Paula was determined to live his dream and a pep talk from his late elder brother was the needed push. After the Form 7, I, I went to my, my brother back in Nandonga on this, I think, 2010. I was waiting for my result. And I, my brother said, if you can continue education, so you, you held on to rugby, it might take you a long way and it might provide a job for you. And I took that seriously and I started working hard from there. And then I said, yes, rugby can take me somewhere. The 27-year-old joined a few rugby clubs in Nandronga, but it was in 2016 that he made it to the Fiji 7 squad. A year later, he made his break, debuting in the Paris 7s competition, and from that day, Paula has never looked back. Uh, as you can say, nothing is impossible. Uh, and uh, the thing that keeps me going is uh, just uh, keep on working hard, and uh, you'll reap what you sow. In the, in the squad, uh, yes, uh, family. Mom and dad, uh, wife, kids, uh, they just uh, motivated for me to keep on going and uh, don't let go. Maintaining his discipline on the field was always important for Paula, who only received his first ever card in this year's Singapore Sevens. Uh, I remember I used to say, cool the mind, fire in the heart. That's, that's the main reason. So you, you, while you're playing, you control yourself. Uh, there's a, there's a time when anger comes, uh, but you have to control and uh, overcome. For Paula, he says the captaincy armband is a huge responsibility. He says for young Fijian boys dreaming of playing for Fiji, being determined is the first step. It is a, a, a big task, a big responsibility, you know, uh, because uh, every belief and every, you know, uh, uh, Fiji, Fiji wide, national wide. You know, they, they, they rely on you to lead the team and the boys and, uh, you know, to lead them to victory. If you try to, uh, to don a white chassis, keep your goal, eyes on the goal. Don't let, let uh, eyes off it and uh, keep striving what you, uh, keep going day by day and uh, keep walking towards your goal. The father of two says that at the moment he is focusing on his sevens career and trying to make the Olympic Games sevens team. Philip and I, Kaso, FBC News.